The society's collection of images of 15th century kings certainly directs our thoughts to the age of Shakespeare, because the majority of them were painted in the 16th century with the fashion for sets of portraits of great figures from the past. Just as the red and white roses associated with the Lancastrian and Yorkist civil wars of this time, Henry VI wears a collar with a distinctive S form established as part of the family livery in the time of his great-grandfather, John of Gaunt. Henry VI, and he's in hostile France and attempts to reconcile the argument between the warring houses of York and Lancaster. Lord Vernon for York and Lord Bassett for Lancaster enter the scene wearing white and red roses, respectively, and they demand that the king allows them a trial by combat to settle the row. <coughs> Henry VI attempts to patch it up, but only sows the seeds for future strife. Come hither, you that would be combatants. Henceforth, I charge you, as you love our favour, quite to forget this quarrel and the cause. And you, my lords, remember where we are in France amongst a fickle, wavering nation. If they perceive dissension in our looks and that within ourselves we disagree, how will their grudging stomachs be provoked to willful disobedience and rebel? Besides, what infamy will there arise when foreign princes shall be certified that for a toy, a thing of no regard, King Henry's peers and chief nobility destroyed themselves and lost the realm of France? Oh, think upon the conquest of my father, my tender years, and let us not forego that for a trifle that was bought with blood. Let me be umpire in this doubtful strife. I see no reason if I wear this red rose, that anyone should therefore be suspicious I'm more inclined to Somerset than York. Both are my kinsmen, and I love them both. As well they may upbraid me with my crown, because forsooth the King of Scots is crowned. But your discretions better can persuade than I am able to instruct or teach. And therefore, as we hither come in peace, so let us still continue peace and love. 